Good morning, everybody. This is Ashby with Ashby Farms, and I'm out here today. I am working on my beehives. I'm gonna be wax dipping them instead of painting them. Um, basically, it's a 50-50 mixture of microcrystalline, which has a 190 melt point, and paraffin wax, which has a 156 melt point. So, uh, as you see here behind me, I've got 140 hives, a um, bunch of lids and stuff on the truck there. And I had a guy that I know uh, custom weld up this stainless steel vat for me. So just to show you, um, it measures 20 by 40, it's 45 inches tall. Um, he put in from the inside, I guess he uh, welded in a bottom, but it's at an angle. And then the last little bit over here really drops down to an angle. I'll show you that inside. And then, um, a drain right here for uh, easy draining. I can put all the wax back in buckets. Um, so this is the first piece going in right here. I guess in transit, it melted this block solid. Um, when I first put it in here this morning, I had the fire a little bit too hot and you can see all the spatter right here. I wanted to catch fire. Um, I think that's kind of normal. So I had to turn the fire just way down on low. For fire safety, uh, I've got a fire extinguisher, but that's gonna ruin the wax. Uh, my neighbor is a captain of the fire department. He said just a piece of cardboard, even a piece of tin, whatever, that in case of a, this does flare up, just lay it across the top and that'll smother out the fire because basically paraffin is just candle wax. Um, so I'll s show you what we're going to do through the rest of the day here, but uh, just getting started melting the first couple pieces. So it took five hours to melt 400 pounds of wax. Uh, in the future, I'm going to run two burners underneath not one but that's part of day one getting the kinks out on this thing so uh, anyways we ran about 20 inches deep of uh, microcrystalline and paraffin and then basically i've got uh, this board here is just helping keep everything submerged via this bungee this bungee here it's got a lip on it um, just to show you down below here this is the burner underneath pretty hot under there. Right now our wax uh, temperature was at 235 and if you look at it right here you can see the air bubbles are just coming up out of the uh, out of the wood. Here's a really good one. So all the moisture um, is steaming out because of course it's hotter than 212 degrees. So as the water steams out of the wood, it's gonna create a vacuum in the wood. And then once we let these cook for about 15 minutes, we're gonna pull them out, give them maybe um, 30 seconds to rest over top of the tank and drip. And then I'm gonna set up a drying rack right over here. And uh, as they dry and as they cool, the wax will actually get sucked into the wood. And that's basically like, if you look at some of the cutaways that I've seen on YouTube, the wax permeates all the way through the wood. And so that's what's gonna allow this wood uh, to last, you know, hopefully in excess of 15 years. I got these silicone, glo silicone globes on uh, Amazon. They're about 30 bucks, but they're rated from negative 100 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And that enables me to be able to dip into this wax. So after letting these sit for about 30 seconds, you can see there's still just a little bit of dribble left. Bring them around here. Set them up to dry. Uh, that batch over there was our last batch. And even still, after sitting there for 30 minutes, they're still warm. They're probably 100 degrees. burner and it was a 70 degree day 
we never could get the temperature up above about 230. And as soon as we would drop in the fresh uh, hives that were untreated, it would drop the temperature down to like 180. And it just wasn't bubbling like it should. It actually took us seven hours to melt 500 pounds of wax last week. So I got a different burner uh, from a friend this week and we were able to melt all the wax in four hours, which tells me that the BTUs are running quite a bit more off that. And visually we could see that. So today uh, we're actually running about 250 on the wax, but as soon as you drop in uh, the, the beehives, it drops it down to 212, 220, somewhere in there. But as long as it's above 212, um, we're seeing just a lot more bubbles. Even still, we're not seeing a lot of foam today, but uh, just the amount of bubbles is basically creeping out of all your end joints along here. Uh, one thing to note is there's no buildup of wax with the higher heat. Whereas if you look over here at these, last week as it was getting cooler, we ended up getting build up where the wax was setting up because it was only like 180 degrees and the melt point on the microcrystalline is 190. So it was almost kind of like caking up. This was the last batch of boxes that we did last week. So um, just by having that little bit higher temperature, I haven't been able to get it up to 275 yet. So just by being able to get it up to a higher temperature of about 250, uh, we're able to get the wax just hot enough where it really draws into the wood as soon as I take them out and set them up. So again, guys, I'm Ashby. This is Ashby Farms. We're out here dipping beehives. I appreciate you guys watching my channel. And uh, if you would, just click subscribe down below. Support any way you can. Uh, thank you very much.